What's going on once again everyone, MonkeyDo22 here for another tip tricker tutorial video and in this video today I'm going to be showing you some steps that can help out if you're having problems installing a digitally owned game on Xbox One. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, let me and others know by clicking that like button and sharing the video out with your friends. Be sure to click the subscribe button as well for more videos just like this. Well, I think it's safe to say that we've all been there at some point. You go to download the latest game like Fortnite or PUBG and then all of a sudden the download stops or fails to complete. It's never a fun situation, but there's various different reasons this could be happening and a few basic troubleshooting steps which can help fix the problem. Real quick though, if you're having a problem installing a game while using a disc for the installation, please take a look at the description box below for a link to another video that I made for that specific problem. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do if you're having any issues with downloading games digitally is to fully power cycle the console. You can do that by holding the power button on the front of the Xbox One console for about 5 seconds until it powers down. Then give it about a minute to cool down before powering it back up and trying again. If that doesn't do the trick, you're going to want to check and see if there's any known issues or service alerts out for the particular game or app that you're trying to install or content usage on Xbox Live. You can do this by going to the Xbox Live status page shown on the screen right now as well as the link in the description. You can even check out the Xbox Live status through the Xbox Assist app on the console. You can do that by pressing the Xbox button on the controller, then sliding over to the right to the System tab, and then down to the Xbox Assist app. From here, you'll have the option to take a look at the Xbox Live service status. For this particular issue, we're going to want to look for issues with licensing and content usage alerts. Those will be in the main ones that could cause issues with downloading or using content. If everything is good to go with the Xbox Live service, the next thing you're going to want to do is check that you're signed in with the account which purchased the game or app originally. Sometimes home sharing or game sharing as it's called sometimes, for example, can cause issues with digital downloads, so you want to ensure that you've tried to download the game from the profile which originally obtained the license. If you're sure that you're signed into the right account, next it's time to try to find the game within the Xbox Store and attempt to download the game through the storefront as opposed to the ready to install section. Sometimes that can help with refreshing the license on the account and get you up and running. If that's not working for you, you'll need to check the console notifications for any errors, such as not having enough hard drive space or low storage space. If you're seeing a message like that, you'll need to free up more space on your hard drive before you can continue downloading the game. If that's not doing the trick, you'll want to check for any system updates next. This should happen automatically when you fully reboot the console like you did in the very first step of this video, but sometimes it's not triggered if it's not a mandatory update yet. To check for system updates, press the Xbox button once again on the controller to open up the guide. Slide over to the right to the System tab and select Settings. Then scroll down and select System, and then Updates. If there is a console update, and updating your console hasn't done the trick to resolve the problem, you may be having some issues with your internet connection. If you use a Wi-Fi connection, try using a wired connection. Not only will this usually speed up the download, but it can typically resolve small issues like this due to wireless interference. You may also want to consider restarting your internet connection to see if that helps. Now hopefully these steps have helped you get up and running with your game again. If not, you may be having some hardware issues either with the console or hard drive itself. And if you're using an external hard drive, try to disconnect it and download the game to the internal hard drive instead. Trying to install different games and apps is another good way to see if there may be an issue with the console itself or with a specific game. But if nothing else is working, you may want to look into a factory reset of the console to try and fix the problem before contacting official Xbox support for other options. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you have any other comments, questions, or suggestions, please let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below. I do my best to answer them as quickly as I possibly can, and if the video was helpful, please make sure to click that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Xbox support videos just like this. I'm MonkeyDo22, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.